Okay, today I'll be doing an unboxing video for you guys, and uh, it's the last day before school starts, so it's back to waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So that sucks. But anyway, um, yeah, I got this box in the mail today, uh, which definitely lightens the mood, so I'll just cut it open for you guys. Okay, so this is a power supply, DC regulated power supply. Uh, maybe I'll read this, but I probably won't. But it's good to have a manual. It goes up to 30 amps. I got packaging seems pretty decent. I don't see this thing moving around much. Oh my god. Alright, I have an idea. Okay, so it comes with, of course, your power cord, your 110 power cord, and your alligator clips, so we can charge anything. got a setting back here so you can change it from 120 so you can use 120 or 110 um, of course it's got the fine and coarse amperage adapters and I can change it from amps to milliamps right there and the voltage adapter is fine and quartz. So I can use this to charge like finicky things like lithium ion batteries. Okay. Then let's just see these how these alligator clips plug in. A Ben wanting this thing for a long time. So it's good that it finally came. Okay. So those plug in like that. Um you can stick a wire in there if you want and tighten it down with a screw. So if you want to change like the gauge or something, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we'll plug this in.
and I like that this one is a digital display display and I like that I can use it to revive old batteries because it doesn't care if there is a something attached and I'll just put out the power I want it to. You can see right now it's set to 32 volts, so I can turn that down. You hear the fan running. And yeah, I'll be back when I hook something up to it. Okay, so I have this homemade 6 volt battery. Oh, look. It expired. Anyway, um, this was a, you know, one of the flashlight batteries. But I uh, took out the dead alkaline cells and put in old drill battery cells. Um, but it's still 6 volts, but it's a lot lighter and the flashlight is a lot brighter, so. Let's just see if I hook this up. Okay, so it's showing 5.8 volts. And I'd like to bring it up to about... Oops, not that enough. 6.5. And just... Okay, so it's not taking much power right now. If I turn up the voltage even more though, you can see the amperage go up. So let's say I want to bring it to about 6, 8, and you can see the amperage is going down as it should as the battery gets closer to that 6.8 volts. Sorry, I don't have my voltage my voltmeter right now, my multimeter, so I can't really do much there for you guys. Okay, so the battery is settled and it is charging at about 6.3. Um, you can see it's dropping fairly slowly as the battery fills up. But I'd like to try running this little robot drive motor. So, I'd like to run that on. I'll start at zero. And I'll hook this up. Positive. And a negative. You can see now it's not spinning. And if we bring up Oh, if only there were a better way to angle this camera. Okay. Okay, now if I bring up the voltage. bring it down. It's just spinning. Bring it up. Taking about a... I'll bring it up to like half an amp. Try to get it to settle on half. It's about half an amp at 2.2 volts. Three volts.
and that's as high as it'll go. Won't let me take it above 3.5 volts on this motor. So I won't burn out the motor today. Bringing it down. Let's see what the minimum it takes to start this motor is. Yeah, be fine. Come on. <clears throat> See how low I can go. That point nine volts, point seven volts, point six volts, point four volts, up. Oh. So point five volts, six volts. It doesn't actually start until you get up to like three volts, but then once you're at the three volts you can bring it down. Okay, well, later on I'll do a review of this. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Check out my channel. You know, all that good stuff.